Okay. So while I get the queue up and running and I read all these other notes that you guys have typed out, how uh -huh. is Burger the person? How is Mark in the Burger household? I'm good. good. We're doing good. Yeah. Cool. Everything at home getting a little bit better? Yep. Nice. That is important. Yep, because everybody's back to school now, so everybody's got more things to worry about than me. <laughs> all right. But besides all that, though, like you're hopefully putting into practice what we've said and... You're not getting vape lung, are you? No. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Oh my god, this shakes. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Initiating. Why the hell is this shaking? What? So weird. Q.gg is flipping out right now. Hello? Hello? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm here. here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna change the freaking video thing. If I go over here on this part of the website, it's fine. Okay. Um... Understandable. So that's the stream. This is the queue. Please join. Oop. It has been clicked. Dope. Oh, I'll disable your ad block. You'll get bugs. Jokes on you. I don't have an ad block. Oh, I'm getting the shakes too. Yeah. Uh, just go full screen on the uh, player, and it goes away. Neat. Actually, let me check. Zoom is fine, right? That's funny. Uh, if you actually go into your browser and zoom out, it gets rid of the shakes, too. Okay. Alright, but you ready? Match. Uh, yes. Alright, is it playing for you right now? Yes. Alright. We are assembling, we are doing shit. Going on, reading notes. Ready for battle. Okay, so right. Wait, never mind. We still have 20 seconds. Yeah. But we're gonna walk out of spawn here. Okay. We'll figure it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Round one. Capture the objective. Okay, so Tex asked for uh, uh, Matrix on his first shot. That's fine. Which is why, which is why I went up there. Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. You'll see. Um, you'll see. Sometimes if whip, if widows go for like grappling shots, you'll see the diva follow up with like Matrix so that they, of course, get the grapple shot and they can't get shot back. It's like a mm -hmm. minor thing if your widow asks for it, but that's something you can do. But in this case, alright, they took the shot, you guys need to go, so you need to move up with Freddy. Gotcha. Freddy's rotating around. You need to, like, you need to be with Freddy in this situation, right? Yeah. Because you're, like, you're lagging behind. As of right now, you have no, like, LOS on him or anyone else, so you're lagging behind. You already, like, lost him. Then I get hooked. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'm trying to think. Because honestly, this whole like move around thing is not the f best idea when you're up against a roadhog. Like, I see Freddy's like, oh, I want to be on high ground. I want to poke. But he's also trying to poke an Orisa hog. And that's not something you generally do. <laughs> because what just happened to you is what normally happens to Winston, right? Yeah. But, like, if you wanted to, like, poke and, like, completely rotate around with you, I could, like, understand. But I just think... Yeah, I just lost mech there, so I just backed up. But... Tech's gonna kill two... Moon will hopefully clean up. Okay, so we're staging for the next fight. I like right. where you are right there until you dropped. Now I don't like where you are anymore. You can okay. still you could still think of everything in high ground, right? Remember mm -hmm. the whole free real estate meme? Yes. You you love high ground, you love this, you love these pillars, for example. Where Freddy is is fine. And I'll teach you when you're playing dive tanks. And you're playing some sort of a dive, even though your DPS lineup is a little bit weird. You and Winston generally want to go from separate angles and like sort of crossfire, because Winston's gonna come in, they're gonna go push one way, and then you meet where they're trying to like walk away from Freddy from, so you kind of sandwich them in between you two, and they either have to like squeeze out through like a side, so like as an example. Freddy jumps in here. You and blue jump in like here. So they get squeezed in, and essentially their only options are to go back toward their spawn, which means, hey, you guys made space, or they go forward. In which case, if they go forward, your DPS should generally be like ready and waiting. Mm -hmm. All in all, I think, in general, where the team is right now, you guys can afford to play... Your The rest of the team can afford to play way more aggressively, because as it is, like between Freddy being up here and if you were up on the high ground you would basically own like this would be the line like this is all right. yours right mm -hmm. so that's all area that your team could safely be in but as of right now you're just sitting on point and you're not doing anything you're not like poking you're not preventing Widow from like taking position yeah, and then I drop again. Yeah, and you keep using your booster, right? So it's like, if you if you go up there and drop, and you're still waiting on your booster cooldown, what happens if they push? You're just caught out, right? Yeah. So we want to we want to already know where we want to be position-wise and minimize like our cooldown usage. That way, we have boosters when we need it. All right, Freddy's jumping in. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah. You're like poking a shield. You're trying to break shield in a dive comp. That, yeah. So you're playing you're playing dive, you need to go with your tank, and you're just gonna sit there and break shield. And Diva, who is not that great at shield break. I think Diva outside of like Winston and Reinhardt, who Yeah, I think Diva's like the third worst tank for shield break. But yeah, like right here. Like, see, so you can like poke fine. If they like, if they pressure you, I don't know if you saw, um, I don't know if you saw what Freddy did last fight when they pushed in. Go all the way back. So see how like Freddy is just literally huddled up against like the wall, like all the way toward the back. Yep. So what? That means is like you could still stay in that high ground even if they're gonna pressure you, but you can like huddle up against there. They can't see you because they don't have like line of sight to you from just low ground to high ground angle. So like you could live there for way longer. You want to try to stand that stand up there. Oh my gosh, I hate you. Like as long as possible. 
And what that means too, like when you stay up there, so if they, if you stand up here and you get to poke, if they decide they want to walk in, like they have to walk in under the pressure of you like poking, right? Mm -hmm. And like from that angle, like Roadhog's not going to really be able to clean hook you. And even if he does hook you, you would have boosters. So you just, you get hooked, you just go back up. And your bunny hop is on a shorter cooldown than hook is, so you'll have it back again before he has hook again. But like, you could be up here, you could be poking around shield right now, you could be applying pressure, you would make it very not safe for them. And then it's like that idea with Freddy, right? Like, so if he, if he's back here, he jumps in behind them and you're applying pressure from the front, they're trapped. All they can do is either, basically at this point, all they could do is go forward, and they would just go forward into your DPS, right? Yeah. And they would die. Hopefully. That was a good matrix, though. I'm afraid. Yep. But now you can kill you. Yeah. I ate too much damage. Like, another underrated thing, too, about owning high ground is, say, they played, like, a mobile DPS where you saw, like, a flank. Mm -hmm. Let's go back here to where we see them. So, for the most part, their team is all right here. Pretend you lived here. If you saw, like, who they have on their team, like, McCree. If you saw McCree, like, kind of trending this way, trying to go into your back line, you're literally in prime position with Bunny with bunny hop to just like boost over and peel for your team so like it's weird because like diva at the very least can do so many things right she's she has some sort of like damage capability she could poke she peels so you kind of have to do like everything at once so the idea is to use high ground as a way to position yourself to where you could do basically everything all the time. That's the ideal situation. Okay. But that's what you want to think about with positioning is like, alright, owning high ground so that like, if they have widows or stuff like that who want to perch here, they can't easily take advantage. And then besides that, I want to be in position to where if I need to react to something like a flank or like a frontline push, I'm there to help alleviate pressure. Push. They also use like two ults. Three ults. Yeah. Four? Four. Oh, yeah, they have ults too. Yeah, you're right. Okay, they use four ults. This is fine. And you got bomb. Yeah, I think we, sh we should have swapped. Um. No, it was, uh. The other map that we should have swapped off Mercy. Uh, I thought it was right here. Uh, yeah, I fed. Hard feed. Yeah. That's just a, that's just a hard my yeah. fault. Freddy fed after you too because he gets hated and your folks will die. So everyone needs to leave now. If you're if you're baby deep in that situation, just like I I just gotta die, I gotta die, I gotta die. Like I don't want Moon being there. I want Moon getting out. Yeah. And I would love you I would love for you to die too, because then you respawn with Mag you reset. Quick reset. But now you know. Alright, now we got sights. So, let's think about... What can we do? Where do you think you could position right now? Um... Do I, do I get a marker? Or do uh, I just tell you? I believe so. I believe you can click on the thing and draw. Give it a shot. I cannot. You cannot. Uh... Give it a try. Ah, okay. So, um, like, maybe here? That's pretty good. Or here? Or going that way? Alright. So, I liked your first spot. I liked right here. This is great, because it's the same exact theory that we have on the other side, too, on defense, where it's like, you can go up here, it's high grounds, high grounds good, 
You poke above and behind Orisa Shield. You're a dive team. You don't care about Orisa Shield. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to go past it. So you're allowed to poke from there. If you poke correctly, don't get hooked. They have to go backwards because they can't live in this area. They're just going to take infinite damage from you. Um, that's gross. That's a little bit less gross. Um, and again, you're in prime position to like peel. So Freddy wants to go for a jump. Like If he decides, I'm going to go hard, and he wants to jump like a backline from somewhere, you're in perfect position to just jump to a backline. If you notice a flank happening, like if the rest of this team goes back, but you see McCree again, like trending up here, you're allowed to also just move to this high ground, move to that high ground, and like be prepared for like the McCree. Just as examples. Again, like that's the position that lets you do everything you want to do. God. Feels so small brain. It's pretty hard back. Moon's gonna carry. Ooh, did you do? Is that, um, you? Is that I... you matrixing the barrage? Uh, wait, go back one more time. God, I don't think- Okay, so I don't think Moon called this out. I think he just went for it. Yeah, so, that was- I think that was my attempt to matrix the barrage. That's fine. Which is cool, because you know what? If you were on this high ground here, You'd also yep, be in great position to matrix the yep. haphazard barrage. And then I think I get fat bomb. Yeah. It's solid because the Reese is down. So it's perfectly fine to throw that bomb. Not great. Alright, push, 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 push. Get, get that widow out. <laughs> I yelled at you guys because I saw the widow start the e-boat. I'm like, stagger her, don't let her do <laughs> If someone's gonna go like sit on point when you guys own it and like emote like that, you just let her live and then kill her. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you getting staggered on baby diva, right? Yeah. But again, alright. They're pushing, they're pushing. The flank is gonna happen. The Orisa goes to the flank here. You guys finally notice. Shoot, he did. Uh, nice job. That's good. Now you just gotta stay on point. We're here to stay point because they also want to be here. Last seconds. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Good start. GR. GR. Now. Score. Zero to one. The fun part. Ready. Oh boy. I forgot what you guys play here. I think you guys still play. Yeah, we still play dive and then we switch to Ursa Hog way too late. Blech. Yeah. I've always find it sketch, like, sorry, side tangent. I always find it sketch playing Winston here. Like, I, you could get away with playing ball when it was, like, triple DPS, but... Right. Like, like, this 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 point, none of us know what to run, because this was our... This, like, we were really good at the triple ball, DPS triple ball. DPS, yeah. and now it's like, well, now what? Yeah, you guys just need to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, Winston in general is also really sketch to play right now, but again, all right. So what's like the actual plan here? Because Freddy, Freddy's in a good high ground position. You could be up there poking with him. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Again, it's like own high ground, whatever. Another high ground you can own is actually above the point. Even though you're not going to poke into Arisa Shield, you can help like escort your team to where they want to go. But now we're like way hardcore dive, so. We just want to get in there, but like, see, so yeah. you're just kind of like, you're just on the ground. Mm -hmm. Get hooked. Like, I will say, your position would be fine 
if, like, you were playing Orisa, and you guys were playing, like, McCree, and, like, the goal was to, like, escort you guys to point, because we want to, like, stay on point, right? But mm -hmm. as it is, we're playing dive, so it's, like, everyone needed to engage on something as it is. And this this one isn't just personally your fault. I think everyone else was kind of lost as what to do. It's like, oh, we're just going to stay here, and then we're going to push in. It's like, no, you're dive. You got to go, 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 go. This entire uh, this entire point was a little bit of a mess because now you're now you've backed up the point, but you're a dive team. They don't have mm -hmm. real like point presence. You just get deleted by teams with more damage and bigger health pools. Yeah, right now is when we should have swapped. Yeah, but we didn't. Nope. They recognize that. And this is something like you guys weren't playing with Elysian, so like. Elysium would be the one usually making these calls. Mm -hmm. But to give you a glimpse, I think, I think, I think what we actually said right here was we're gonna run this one more time because Moon has alt, and then if that doesn't work, we're gonna swap. But I don't. That's that isn't what happened. Yeah, I think. And this is gonna be more a discussion I talk about with like Freddy and Tags and to a lesser extent Elysian. It's like. Moon is a weird case where Moon plays, like, these high-impact DPS heroes that, like, they don't necessarily need too much of, like, a plan around them. Like, Doomfist is going to do Doomfist things, Junkrat does, like, Junkrat things. Farah, you play Pharmacy, but, like, I think if you guys are really going to play for, like, an ultimate, and to be honest, even though Seismic Slam is usually good at getting a kill, it's, like... Does one kill really swing this fight when you're playing dive against Bunker? No. Especially if they have Unless it's mercy. like... Yeah. Like, unless it's the Mercy. But she has so many escape tools that it's like, meh. But you guys could swap and, like... Moon can just do whatever. Moon will Moon will jump in, like, hardcore feed, but he'll get his ult and he'll do whatever. And while that's all going on, like, you guys would get space to, like, eventually push in. But I think playing around, like, at least an ultimate, like, Seismic Slam and maybe a lot of, like, the heroes in Moon's pool, like, I don't think it's that big of a deal to, like, oh, we gotta stay on this shit comp because we're playing around this one ult. That mm -hmm. by itself doesn't do a whole lot, right? Okay. Uh, Moon saves my butt right there. Yeah, I'm trying to get a clear visual of what's going on. So this is just kind of very similar to what happened on Ruins where you just got hooked coming out of like spawn. Mm -hmm. Where it's like you're a dive team that's like walking main and it's like dive usually never really walks main, right? So like you guys wanna like loop to this balcony and you guys wanna live here and you wanna survey where you wanna go and what you wanna dive. Like you in this situation by now you would want to be here. Not, okay. not down here, because that's when this shit happens. The moon gets you out, but now we push. Now we're push. All right, where could we be right now? Um, you can draw it. I'm thinking like, oh, that's a bad color. Maybe, maybe there, because because they're backing up this way, right? And so going going here doesn't really accomplish anything. Because that just backs them up to point. Going here is hard. So I'm thinking like... Or wait, is is it just like, just onto them? Nah, it's, for the most part, it's still up here. Um, oh really? Because okay. you're still going to poke as they go back to point. Like you're, at least if they're backing up to point, you're effectively like minimizing the, sp the space they operate in. So, like, instead of them owning, like, all of this area, now they just own, like, the point. Which, I mean, their comp is really good at. Mm -hmm. We've already discussed why you guys shouldn't be running this comp. But your goal right now is to take space. And what's going to take space is you sitting up here and poking them so that they have to move backwards. Um, you could go to that far high ground, but, like, you're not going to poke the Orisa, who's kind of, like, the main, like, we need her out because she's the one, like, 
policing the area. All you're going to be doing is poking a Roadhog who kind of looks at you, vapes, and hooks you, right? <laughs> yep. And unless you're, like, crazy, like, where, like, Lucio and, like, May are right now, you're, they're kind of equidistant to, like, both high ground locations, and you attempting to fly all the way to that right high ground also would put you in line of sight of Roadhog, who might just hook you out of the air. Yeah. So this, so on the left is technically the safer jump. And then once okay. they back up to point, then you can like drop down, hang behind your tanks, or like play around pillar and poke, that sort of situation, right? And if they try to push out, you just go to high ground and they can't touch you, they take free damage, they have to back up. This is all good. This is all solid. So, like, see what you guys all did there? You corralled them. What they ended up doing, they didn't go back to point. Instead, they boxed up kind of right here for some reason. And then slowly but surely, between you, Freddy, uh, Moon, who kind of killed someone over here, you just forced them into, like, a smaller and smaller area until eventually it's like they either go off the side or they just die. So that's kind of like Overwatch 101, and that's kind of like your job. You're in Freddy's job. It's not necessarily to kill things, but you like notice how like you're making the area they're allowed to stay in smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. That's the stuff that like you and Freddy do, and then on top of that, your job is to just that's technically like that's Freddy's main job. That's your like secondary job, and for the most part, your main jobs are to keep Freddy alive and keep your backline alive. And, like, actual, like, final blows and damage is all, like, secondary. So, like, that's an, that's an example of, like, team play. And then this... You know, happened here. Um, I don't know. Where did everyone go? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so... Uh, he's got flashbang, he had to get out. Moon died. Moon just respawned. Alright, Moon died. I lose mech. Yeah, you're gonna lose. Tegs is outside of point. Oh, Tegs recalled, that's yeah, why. Tegs recalled. Alright, everyone... Dragon like, gets like, frozen. But no one's there to, like, help you. Dragon gets blocked. So this is going back to that idea of, like, this is why your comp sucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, Arisa, we... Arisa just pulling a evil toaster and sitting in the corner, like, mm -hmm. we pretty much won them with, and obviously with mail, but the fact of the matter is they could sustain themselves on point and you guys really couldn't. All right, yeah, so for, for the record, every time I play ladder with Moon, he just insta-locks May. For the record. Because I, I heard on the director's cut, you were like, Moon doesn't play Mei, but every time I played him on with him on ladder, he was playing Mei. We were going to discuss with that, because we initially had it in his pool, and it was something I wanted him to learn. But unfortunately, like, the Mei play style, like the Mei meta play style, it's very much like, oh, I play with my tanks, and I have to, like, wall and, like, push forward with my tanks unfortunately you know how moon is moon likes to like flank and yeah he likes to go for plays may is not like a big playmaker fragger may is like i'm gonna make this wall and our team will make the play so we're gonna we're gonna shift may to tags and like so yeah, Tags will probably like take over quote unquote May duty, and then we have Cater. Cater is a really solid May, so like if Cater gets play time, she'll play May usually if we play meta. We have other Mays. It's just the okay. um yeah, it's just the dichotomy right now is your projectile player plays May and Moon is our projectile player, but Alright. So Arissa Hog, here's our first bit of it. That was pretty good. Cool. Yep. So And then yeah. TTK. Yep. Actually, so what happens here 
This is a great hall hook. I like what you're doing here. You're with Freddy. He's going for the hall. You get the hook. You know what sucks? Is if Moon did the May thing and walled right here, that Arisa's is dead. That's how meta Ooh, works. Yeah. You hook, you halt hook, and then May walls off, and then they can't leave, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So that's what's being played in Overwatch League right now. See, like, that's what happened to me right there. Yep, exactly. Dragon almost gets stalled. But it's fine because there's no time left anyway. Yeah. The world's saddest EMP is about to happen. It doesn't even happen. It doesn't even happen. <laughs> he dies. He's saving it for, like, the next map. Yeah. yeah. That was a little rough. A little bit rough, but we're fine. We are fine. Alright. This will be fun, because you're now going to learn how to play Roadhog. <laughs> <laughs> sir, yes sir. Probably should have had Dragon on Mercy and Sleepy on Lucio, but Dragon is on a bot, Maybe. and Dragon doesn't have a Lucio, so. That was very good. Now we just sit here. Freddy's backing up for some reason. Ah. Yeah, like I don't know what I'm doing right here. I got very lucky. I right, that was fine. So, in a re in a Risa in a Risa hog, basically your job is you're gonna basically live with your Risa. You're gonna hit halt yep. hooks, and you're gonna do what I call micro roaming. Which it's not like how Diva can sit on high ground and scan the area. What you have to do instead, I'm gonna get a better position. What you have to do instead is think of like a radius around your Orisa. Think like she has a Lucio aura, right? Mm -hmm. You have to police this area. If people are going for like a flank, you have to be able to meet them at like the point of entry. So like you you effectively micro roam the area. If like if someone's gonna go around Orisa shield, you gotta be there ready to like hook them and like force them out. Or just soak up the damage while your DPS kills them. So, like, Tags should be living with you. Like, you, you, Freddy, and Tags kind of just need to live in this aura around the Orisa. Okay. But, like, right there, like, May, May's trying to walk into your front line, but you're with your Orisa, you're with your team, so you're, you just protect them. You just hook, you kill, damn, you did your job. Hawk staggers himself, that's fine. Your team's gonna rotate, your team's gonna push forward. You live with your Arisa. And on Roadhog, it's quote unquote fine to take little like peaks like this. Like if you wanna go up and like peek and like poke them as they come out. Because you're a big boy and you got a vape and all that fun stuff, you can't go. <laughs> yeah, I do. You can't go too far, because you also feed a million old charge, and if you get hooked, you just die, obviously. But you have a you have a little bit of freedom, but it's again like there's an aura around the Arisa. You micro roam that. This is fine. You also deal. You also guys. You guys do good shield break. So you, Freddy, 
and to an extent tanks could focus on shield break and you guys just want to win front line. You want to break a Risa shield, halt and hook. That's good. You got hooked kind back. Of did. Yeah. yeah. And I think I got walled too. Yeah, you got walled. Oh. Let's see what happens. Man, Freddy's shield just died so fast. Yeah, I couldn't get the the finishing left click because I got hooked, and then Freddy got pushed up, so that may get out for free. Yeah. That made it a good play. She actually split. Even though, like, Freddy's shield went down, like, the fact that May got to split you and Freddy apart meant, like, uh, you're just dead. I don't know why Dragon's there. Stall out. Time to stall, time to stall. Alright, cool. So, like, all in all, until, like, that May made that play and Freddy's shield blew up, like, at 200 miles an hour, like, what, you, what you've done so far is what you're supposed to do on Hog. This is Hog work. So far, this is very good. Thank you. I've been playing a lot of it. Cool. And I like to think it's getting better. It's just you and Freddy you just need to practice, like, halt hooking. Because it mm -hmm. needs to be so consistent. This is fine. Back up, back up, stop. Uh, this rotation is a bit weird for sure. It's working. It's working. Oh. And then we get booped. Yep. So. Remember, remember when I said what your job is to micro room and manage yep. flanks and stuff. So, look who look who enters your spear. Who enters the aura? One froggy boy. One froggy boy. That's a little bit on. Like if someone calls out Lucio flanking, like you should be like immediately like, all right, I'm. If you're really good, you'd be right-clicking shield, looking right, right-click shield, look right, and you'd, like, go back and forth on that, but, like, in this case, you should just dedicate yourself to immediately looking for the flank. Because you could totally have made a play and, like, saved your entire team, and you probably would have won the fight because you guys were already up. That's just so unfortunate, but... We leave, we get out, it's cool. Ooh, dragon. That was scary. But it's weird to think about, and that's like, that's stuff that takes time, where it's like, you guys, since you guys are in red, you guys have put shield here. This is kind of the... Spear of influence. That's not exactly a spear, but like their team in pink, they're like rotating. They're placing their shield here. They want to fight, but like in your mind, and especially this is something you should do on off, on all off tanks in general, um, diva especially. But you think about like flank routes and think about what's well, an ugly color. You think about like where people are gonna go what they're gonna do, like, any sort of, like, ways that the enemy can path is stuff you kind of have to keep in the back of your mind. It's like, all off-tank duties, it's keep my front line alive, keep my back line alive, keep my DPS alive, and then it, like, works down to, like, fragging and all that fun stuff. But that's, like, your spear priority. You could trust your, you could trust your front line to keep space, you trust your DPS to do the damage, but your job is to be glue and keep everyone alive. Even if it's Roadhog. Roadhog kind of frags. He do. He do. He do. And there are plenty of times for you to frag, especially in, like, when the fight breaks down. You're a big boy that just does a ton of damage, so... Moon face, Moon face tanks. Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. But you get to kill. Not so much you can do about that. Rip. No! 
Oh. Ah, you need to leave, you need to leave, you need to leave. That was cheeky, but that also gets you staggered. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, hey, you guys are going to get a fight. When it's that close, I wouldn't even risk it. It's like, no, I gotta regroup with the team. We can regroup and get one final push. Especially that we finally switched to Lucio. Should have done Lucio forever ago. Yeah. yeah well. Victory. Uh. Forty minutes. We'll go over. We'll go over the next map too because we had a, a little bit quick. But. Do you have like a notepad or you got anything you want to write down or like do you have a notepad on your computer? Uh, yeah. I have a physical notepad because I'm cool. Cool. Write this down for me. So, mm -hmm. ordered list, like I said. One, keep your main tank alive. Okay. Two, keep your back line alive. Okay. Three is keep your flankers slash DPS alive. Sometimes, like, if you play McCree, McCree I would involve in your backline because McCree kind of lives behind your main tanks usually. But okay. Your flankers, like your Genjis, your tracers, that sort of stuff, that will be number three. Because they are usually self-sustaining in some way or they have mobility tools. Um, yep. And then four is fragging. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is like your off tank order of operations, right? Oh, also be prepared for flanks. Yeah. I guess that would fall under like uh. That would, keep that would fall under your back, back line, line usually, life. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then right. And then write like a little diva section. Just like on mm -hmm. the side. Diva. Own high grounds. Okay. And be able to get how should I phrase this? How should I phrase this? Um Be able to bunny hop to any teammate. That's a good one. That way you can be up with your main tank if they want to dive. You can be back with your back line if there's a flank or they're getting pushed. Or like you counter dive at that point. So you want to own a high ground and you want to be able to bunny hop to any of your teammates. Gotcha. And then do a little roadhog section. Okay. Alright, one halt hook slash shield break. Slash shield break. Okay. And two, micro roam for flanks. Or watch for flanks. Watch for flanks is probably an easier way of putting it. Okay. Yeah. It's usually easier on D.Va. Like, when you own a high ground, the way the reason I specifically point out to watch for flanks on Roadhog rather than D.Va is D.Va because you're going to have usually vision because you're on high ground, physically you're gonna, yeah. yeah, you're gonna physically see the flank, but when you're on hog and you're on the low ground, usually you have to specifically look out, or if like you see someone in their back line like shift a little bit, then it's like, oh, I think they're gonna go path in this direction, or if like your teammates are calling out, hey, X is missing, or hey, someone moved over left, you should be prepared to help out. But that also okay. doesn't mean, like, if someone's going, like, way left, like, on the other side of the map left, it doesn't mean, like, oh, I need to go 1v1 them. It's, I need to cheat left, but I'm staying with within the sphere of my Orisa. You think there's a workshop tool that, like, that does that? This is kind of, we could probably make something, but this is kind of like a, this is an, I, this is ideas that I've thought about when I play right, Warthog. Okay. So, this isn't, like... I would say known knowledge, but this is how I play Roadhog. Okay. 
I mean, you must be doing something, right? So. Almost. We're almost there. Alright. So, we're gonna skip all this crap. We're gonna watch this. King's Row. Oof. Watch us complain about your usage of toes. Actually disgusting. For for the record, I did not say I did not say anything. I just asked if I was able to say anything. And you said no, so I didn't. Good. <laughs> Attackers incoming. We're gonna do this map and then I'm gonna tell you after this I'm gonna tell you what I expect from you in comms. Okay. Hopefully we shoot for like wrap this up before nine my time, so wrap this up before eleven. Okay. Five, four, Probably sooner, three, we'll see. Two, yeah. Uh speaking of which, are we gonna play Sigma? Do we have plans to play Sigma? Nothing in the works yet, mostly because we are still figuring out what Sigma's real job is. Um Jeff said he's a main tank. People have been playing him as an op tank with Orisa. Ugh, don't remind me. So, we kind of want to see how he develops a little bit. And also, you can't play him until after this week anyway. Right. I think for us, because, Do because Moon has like Doomfist in his pool, we might look into playing like some sort of like shield ignoring comps or like things that are really good against shields like sim sim and doomfish are usually really good and then you would probably doesn't play, kate like... have like a pretty good sim mm, i don't know i can ask her that i don't know either that's why i asked you <laughs> yeah driving tags learn that's why you see text playing sim all the time right now yikes yeah a lot of stuff we have in the future all right so you've I don't mind playing Ryan Zari on this map with Lucio. And more like, you could play like quote unquote meta, but you play Ryan Zari instead on like King's Row. This is fine. And as long as you go together, it's the same thing. It's like the same order of operations as it goes. You bubble your main tank for charge, you bubble yourself for charge, you push in when Freddy wants to go in, you wait for your bubble to come back. When Freddy wants to go in, you bubble Freddy, he goes in. And then you can bubble to get out. Or if you need to, like, maintain charge, you usually use your own bubble from there. And then you use your friend bubbles after that to help people. So it's like, it's the same order of operations. Mm -hmm. So this is fine. That's fine. Freddy kind of meh. But Moon's gonna kill. You're decently charged. That's a good bubble for Moon. Yeah. I like to think I play very... I, I play... Obviously this is, you know, big talk, but I, I, I like to think I play like Sinatra. When I play Zarya, like, I'm very fraggy and I'm very, like, aggressive. And I don't know if that's the best. So... Especially now, but... No. Well, it's funny, because, like, you're probably not going to see a lot of Zarya, like, at high-level play anymore. But that's kind of what happened when DPS players were taking up Zarya. Her, the the idea and like what you could do with Zarya has changed a lot. She used to be like kind of fraggy for the, for the most part and bubbling in response to things. But then goats happened and you use bubble you're bubbling to aggress onto other teams because we found out hey, if you're always aggro and you're always pushing people, that's usually the best strategy rather than sitting back and being responsive, right? That's why mm -hmm. dive is really good. Um Amongst other things, but like usually the team that's like Objective making the moves is usually like the team that's the actually doing things and winning. Yeah, I'm also very liberal with my bubble use, which I need to get better at. Yeah, I, and I wouldn't like, I would practice, but maybe not dedicate too much time to practice because like oh, Ryan, Ryan Zarya might be a King's Row only thing. Yeah, but, like, I just, doing... I, 
Yeah, I feel like Zarya is my most comfortable. Like, I definitely know that I can, like, frag on Zarya. But, like, so. what you're doing, like, right now is, like, fine, where I would like to see more frontline pressure, but you're not overextending. You're, like, helping... Hopefully you help Freddy a little bit more, like, push in, like... I don't have bubble. There we go. Get into it. Yeah, bubble. Freddy needs bubble. Because he needs to push in. Yeah, eventually. There we go. Yeah, I'm probably just like spamming bubble on cooldown. Yeah. Giving it to Freddy. It's just like, it's such a long cooldown, so you have to be a little bit smart about it. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> nah, no one else noticed it either. Alright, we got her though. Uh, but you should be with Freddy right now. You should not yeah. be. You should not be on card duty. You should not be on guard duty. You should not be on guard duty. All right, there we go. I mean, if you're the only person, obviously you have to be on card duty. But like, when you're playing Ryan Zarya, they're usually like holding the next choke point where the next fight's gonna happen. That's kind of unfortunate. This hog is hitting so many hooks. So yeah, he was really good. Yeah. So beyond that, if like you guys aren't actively aggressing, um. In the face of Hog or Risa, you would probably be way more hesitant with your friend bubbles, and you should be always saving it for hooks and halts. Yeah. You'll get plenty of charge off of it, and like you'll have like yourself, because then you could just bubble yourself and push forward, but like... You kind of notice the pattern. This Hog has like pretty much gotten a pick every fight, so it's like, alright, I should be saving my bubbles to help out. Especially because for some reason you guys aren't playing super death volley. Like you guys should be like, in an ideal world, like you and Freddy would be pushing past shield with everyone. Like Lucio would be speed boosting you past shield, and you guys would just melt them down. In the ideal world. Of course. But... And this is why we're three gold, three diamond, and not Overwatch League. That's all I got. Yeah, we just got walled. They had a great response. Dragon somewhere over there. That was probably the best charge Freddy could have had. It takes eight of us to kill the hog. That's fine. Keep pushing, 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 keep pushing. Alright. Uh, someone should go to cart, not you. You should be pushing with Freddy. You need to go, you need to go, you need to go. Like, that's the thing, like, when I talk about, like, DPS players, I've kind of changed, like, how Zarya's played. Zarya's literally played as this, like, frontline, like, monster. Because she can do so much DPS. Uh, with proper ult tracking, hopefully someone would be aware that the Blizzard was happening. If you know Blizzard is gonna happen, you can, like, save bubbles to get you and a teammate out. Right. Uh, but you guys should leave. You should definitely leave. You're dead, but that's fine. As long as you guys leave. Alright. Now here's what's gonna happen. Freddy's gonna have this shatter. And you guys are gonna try to play this comp. But... Unless you execute correctly the first try, you guys are probably gonna be switching. I think we do switch after this. Tags gets a pick, so we push out. And I think, yeah, Freddy just gets blown up. Freddy, you gotta leave. But you guys should leave. You guys should leave. Yeah. And now you should seriously consider the switch. Freddy's gonna try to hang on to the shatter for possibly way too long. Agreed. Yeah, but this is a discussion for him. <laughs> Like, oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, he like, got like, whole like, hog. Yeah, but like what yeah. he did right there is like that's what you guys should have been done in, doing from like square one. It's like all right, we need to just push him. This is, great. this is all great. All right, now this is gonna happen. You know? Do you know what happens next? Do I get Do I get booped? Yes. What are you doing? 
Yeah, I should be in what their spawn. What are you doing? Yeah. I, yeah, I should be in their spawn. What What was going through your mind? If, if I might ask. So, like, um... I think I was watching <laughs> to see which door they came out of. Because I didn't want to be, like, standing at left door, and then they all come out right door, and then I'm like... And then, you know, Moon's the only one left on cart or whatever, and he just gets blown up. Right. Um, and also, I think, just push cart forehead. Cool. I think, I think that's what I was thinking. Alright. I thought you, I legit thought you, like, AFK'd, or, like, or you were, like, doing something, like, ah, this is easy, and then, like, you got booped, because you weren't, like, thinking. But at least... No, you... I, yeah, I was, I was watching the doors, and then just right. push cart forehead. Yeah. Um... You can stand on top of cart. You don't have to be in front of it. And yeah, or like you could be behind cart. If you're so like, if you're so set on watching doors and pushing cart, you might as well be behind it so you have some form of natural cover. As it is, like you stand in front of the cart, there's no cover. Shit like that happens. There's no, there's no reason for you to be here. Either you're gonna be at a spawn door. Or behind cover. There's no reason for you to be in open area. Especially okay. not without your main tank. Because if you don't have your main tank, even if you bubble, they'll just blow up your bubble, then they'll blow you up. But we switch to Arisa. We switch to Hog. Fine. It's fine, but I think you could play D.Va here too, especially because they have Hanzo. Because what their Hanzo is going to do, generally, if we get a good camera angle. Eventually. Go up. Can up. Thank you. So, like, usually their Hanzo will roam this high ground, they'll roam that high ground across the way. So that, and you on D.Va can pressure those areas. You don't have to, like, jump up there, like, live and try to kill him, but you at least, like, divert attention. Like, oh, I'm just gonna tank a few shots, or, like, boop him off with bunny hop, and then go back down to my team and wait for my cooldowns. Okay, makes sense. But, since you're playing Roadhog... You and Freddy should be focused on shield breaking call for team. And so far so good. This is kinda you guys, just not. Oh, just that. Oh, winnable, 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 winnable. I see. But that whole last bit was pretty good. Like, your target focus could clean up a little bit. Whereas, like, you and Freddy kind of want to be shooting at the same thing, but... We've been saying that but... since day one. I know. But besides that, like, the switch to Roadhog and, like, you and Freddy, like, going for that plan, that was really good. So that was very good. Very, very good. And then, what goes wrong? <laughs> So we're playing Arisa Hog. I think we, to we toyed with the Bastion, but I think Tyke shut it down. Oh, you can play Bastion. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I don't mind you guys playing cheese. Oh, I think I think I suggested. Uh, we go up there, but, uh... Not when you play Orisa Hog. Without, right. Yeah. Unless you're playing, like, Bastion, then you could be up there, but when you're playing Orisa Hog, you probably need to be down here. So what's actually gonna happen is they're gonna play meta, and you guys aren't. Better than us, yeah. Because you're playing Widow. <laughs> So they have more shield break, they have more frontline pressure. Tags needed to hit those two shots. If he got those two shots and like killed someone, then 
worth it. But also, but we're gonna bother you for a second. So you're breaking, you're backing up, which is fine. You go for a hook, you get booped, but you need to rotate with your team. You're just unfortunately getting CC. That's tank life. You die. <laughs> Not really much you could have done. See, maybe, tanks gets the next just a little late. Yeah, maybe like if I wanted to nitpick, you should be rotating closer to the doorway, and like going for that hook was a little bit unnecessary because your team was in the middle of retreat, and as it yeah. is, hook would just leave you stranded there, trying to like kill a Lucio of all things. Which I mean, you're gonna throw a hook, you're gonna get something. It's it's fine. You just happen to get a Lucio. It's a bit unlucky. He just got to boop you, and that boop mm -hmm. was like what really led to your death. But... It's like, in that scenario, every time that I get, like, if when I, like, slow down from the May, I just automatically assume that I'm going to die. So then I just kind of, like, throw the hook out, see if I can grab the May and, like, disrupt it so I don't die. But I just assume that I'm dead every time I get slowed. Yeah. I mean, you should focus more on, like, just staying alive with your team. Your team should also be willing to help you out, obviously. So, mm -hmm. like, if you're getting slowed, like... Your team should be recognizing that and trying to help you. Freddy tried to when he shielded. Unfortunately, you're fat, so you stuck out in front of the shield. Sad. But. Oh my god. Fuck. There you go. Tags is hitting shots, but it's a million years too late. But yeah. Like right now, like even with like Tags hitting these shots, you and Freddy are gonna have the toughest time in the world because their front line just gets to walk into you for free so in that case and this is more of a this is gonna be more of like a team-wide discussion about what happened here that we do like team VOD review but in this case you and Freddy should be playing way more passive should be you know, like, the flank, the real flanks are going to happen. Like, maybe Reaper's going to do some stuff, but, like, for the most part, they're just going to try to push into you. So you and Freddy should be willing to back up and kind of wait on tags to get picks. Like, that's, like, now Tex and Moon. And, like, this pick on the May is good. You guys push up accordingly. This is all really good. That's fantastic. Back up. I don't want you living here. Actually, no, it's fine. But I think as soon as that misses, though, you guys need to leave. Do you need to leave? Uh -huh. Nah, rip. See, as soon as they get slowed, I'm dead. Yeah. Uh, give me two seconds. Okay. I'm gonna pee then, real quick. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm back. Alright. You guys need to play way more passive right now. Oh, 
this is why, like, meta is meta, and you need to be, like, an insane sniper to actually, like, break it. I do like that. Even though you got the hook on the hog, like, you didn't, like, chase it. You're just like, oh, I just need to leave. We lost. I'm leaving. Keep leaving. Keep leaving. Don't stay here. Keep leaving. Alright, you saw that. So. See, look what you do there. You see what you did there for like two seconds? No. You're looking at the flank. Mm -hmm. Back to the front line. Catch the flank again. And you're like patrolling it. You probably don't even remember, but you were patrolling it. Unfortunately, Freddy positioned too far, died to getting his shield broke. And he had a halt hook. We've hit, like, a majority, I'd say. Yeah. That's your team helping you live. Yeah, mm -hmm. look at that. Their frontline pressure is so strong. Yeah. Dive. Dive on King's Row. Dive on King's Row into Arisa, Hog, May, Reaper. No, 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 no. Yeah, what, what were we thinking here? No, 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 no. This is bad. But. Let's think about what we could have done if you were Mark Burger Man Burger on Eva. Yes. That me. That's you. Alright. Your position right now, fine. This is fine. This is great. You're following your main tank. You're poking from high ground. You're waiting for your opportunity. This is, that was a dope rotation to the high ground back there. This is great. Yeah, you go in with your tank. Unfortunately, Freddy turned on the warp drive to hyperfeed. He went around <laughs> the corner, no one could see him. Also, Dragon. Rip. Gets blown up. Yeah. But again, this is what happened on Lighthouse, right? Where it's like, oh. Yeah. We, can't, we can't straight up fight this composition. And then I get staggered. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's just so little time. No. We decided we haven't learned our lesson. Is what we've done. <laughs> and we're gonna play for picks. Though they kinda I think they try to cheese you out. Yeah. Attack Bastion. Oh no, right? How rude. 
I think we just get confused to be honest because we're like attack bastion that's doesn't wait this isn't silver so they play they play the attack bastion which hopefully recognizes double shield you guys immediately rotate out of line of sight you're like this is fine this is what you're supposed to do keep rotating out yes yep yep uh you're a brave boy for peeking i'm a brave boy and by brave, I mean that was kind of stupid, but you're living. Now you're dead. <laughs> there. Ugh. I know Freddy got like halted. You and Freddy got like halted in, but it's like. Ugh. Yeah, that's just a reset doing a reset of things. And like their shield break is kind of insane too, but. Just a little bit. Yeah. But like you roaming out here. No 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 Noted Like I said you could I said earlier you could peek a little bit but like look at what you're like peeking into right Yeah Not great Nah I actually think if you were still back here you wouldn't have gotten halted One's huge. Fucking rolled. Just a little. Just a little. Alright. So. Let's talk about... This will be the last bit. We'll talk okay. about what I need from you in comms. Okay. Which is not a lot. Your number one priority... It's calling for flanks. If you see a flank happening, or you see, like, one of their... If you see one of them, like, doing some weird pathing, where it's like, oh, they're not following, like, their tank line, or, like, oh, they're going for, like, a flank, or it's like, oh, I see someone going left or right away from the team. It's like, that's your job to notice and make that call. You call for flanks, okay? Okay. Um, your ult charge, obviously. Um whenever the shot caller asks for it or in between fights um and that's basically all you call your target your target Shh. calling will usually that's, be taken care of by uh, your main tank cool and all strategic discussions will be by your main shot caller in this case it's Elysian here it was a little bit weird uh, I think Tags and Freddy are kind of like the backup, like, shot callers. Mm -hmm. But all you need to do is call out for, like, weird movement. Usually flanks. That's all you have to do on off tank. And besides that, you listen. Because you have to hear when your backline gets pressured. And you have to hear when, like, someone else calls a flank. You You need to absorb information. More so than you need to give it out, right? Okay. So. Sorry, give me a second. And if, like, going back to, like, what your shot caller says, if your shot caller asks for, like, information, it's like, oh, like, what are we dying to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, then you're free to give, like, oh, this thing has been, like, poking me or bothering me. Unless you're D.Va and you're getting bullied by a Sombra, in that case, that's your own fault, but... You only give... Besides flankers, only give, like, feedback on, like, how you feel the fight is going when your shot caller asked for it. Besides that, you call for flanks and you listen. Got it? Got it. Cool. Um... Side note on your D.Va, I would like for you to... At least in peeling situations, or like when you're notice when you're noticing like when you when you have to peel, we'll say that either for your front line or your back line, whatever. When you're trying, when your job is to keep your teammate alive, in general, I'd like to see you matrix more, one, and body block more too. Okay. Um, 
if you matrix, you still have full movement speed, so you would matrix, and then as your matrix runs out, hopefully you position yourself in between the enemy and your teammate, and you're absorbing damage with your body. Even if it's not with defense matrix, just get in between. Um... Because when you fire your guns, obviously, you have slower move speed. So if you're going to sit there and fire, you can't really position, reposition yourself, like, in between your teammate when you're firing. So, like, you would matrix on approach, move into body block, and then you could, like, start firing your guns. And if you're appealing for a support, that support's job is to then keep you alive so that you can eventually win that matchup. But... <laughs> Bless you. Bless me. At the very least, just, like, keep your teammate alive is always your priority. It's never about the kill, it's about keeping your teammate alive. Okie doke. Um, as for your Roadhog, it's looked okay. Just read the fight a bit more, and remember to stick with your Orisa. Which you, so far, have done a solid job of. But, don't poke out in front of your Orisa too much. I guess that's the one thing, if I'm going to nitpick, you walk out in front of Freddy way too often. And you especially walk in front of S.H.I.E.L.D. way too often. Yep. You're the off tank, you're not the main tank. The main tank sits in front. You sit behind the main tank. Got it. Got it. Questions, comments, concerns? Um... No? Right. Other than... Uh, have we officially called next scrim? Uh, next scrim we're looking at Thursday. Um, okay, I'm gonna be a little late, but... Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, we haven't figured out an exact time yet, but we'll let you know. Match is cool. on Saturday. That's doable. Doable. Dope. You're not benched anymore, congratulations. Thank you. Um, get with Freddy as often as you can practice together. If you're playing Winston Diva, practice diving together. If you're playing Orisa Hog, just keep on halt hooking. Don't walk in front of him too much. Yep. And when you play quick player, when you play comp, I want you to look for flanks. That's like, that's I guess your big goal for the week. Your big goal is to look and be able to read flanks, okay? Okay. I'll make you proud, Dad. There you go. Alright, class dismissed. You're good. Alright.